Two subjects today. Facing a know-it-all. How could they know it all? This is the information generation, right? Is it possible that someone at the age of 19 to 25 could know it all? The second subject, the definition of judgment. I was just trying to be constructive, you know, to give you that kind of criticism. Is it wrong? What is the difference? My name is Errol. Life is a series of choices. Who decides when you're not making the right choice? Is it the fear of something going wrong? The greatest lessons in life are often lost inside hidden away attempts and concepts. It's time to reopen our hearts. Having a choice is a daily gift. On this highway, we learn to trust mirages. What is the choice? My father always made it a point to make sure that he told his eight children to stop being a know-it-all. This was pre-internet, 1960s through the 1980s. How could anyone know it all? Yet, we were sternly told to find our right frame, communicate what is correct and not what we had heard or assumed. Why do so many these days make the choice to think they know it all? Not to knock the 19 to 25 year olds, but research shows such a mindset and delivery of actions and reactions is putting a dent and a huge ding in workplace acceptance. It's not because we have Google or other information devices that's forming this idea that we know it all. The experts say a know-it-all is insecure. A know-it-all lacks the confidence required to lead more than they know. Having knowledge does not mean you're wise or you're a leader. So what are we going to do? What is the choice here when it comes to facing someone who thinks they know it all? Because remember, to know something is a defensive mechanism. Getting a know-it-all under control means setting our boundaries. Stand your ground. Be specific about what you're trying to receive and or share. Don't take them seriously. Also, don't take it personal. See them for who they are. The choice is to work it out. Hey, coming up next, what is the definition of judgment? Or is it constructive criticism? Hey, thanks for coming back to The Choice. What is the real definition of judgment? No day or moment passes that constructive criticism isn't looked upon as being a bomb more than a builder. My present day essential job is using co-workers as a tool to help build each other up. Decision makers have decided that it's time that we all work together in leaning on those who are falling back. Constructive criticism. It is the type of feedback that is aimed to improve the performance. It's not a negative. Whereas a judgment condemns something. Criticism comes from a personal point of view. Some might say that I'm highly critical of myself, but does that mean I'm being judgmental of who I am as a creative person? Being supportive by way of constructive criticism. How we treat ourselves can easily be the way that we expect it from others. When you understand what you're sharing and or receiving is looked upon as being constructive, that is an important choice. When you understand what you're sharing or receiving is looked upon as being constructive. How do you do this? Be specific. Make it actionable. And send it out there with positive tones. One word of warning. Do not come across as condescending. I'm Arrow, and that's the choice.